What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel, Austin Davis. Hey, in this video we're gonna be breaking down bleach. How do you mix your bleach? Very important when you're getting started in the pressure washing business to learn how to mix your bleach because if you don't know how to mix your bleach correctly, oh man, all kinds of issues. You can, you know, you can kill plants, you can mess up paint on houses, you're using too strong of a solution, you're wasting chemicals, you're not using as strong of a solution and you're wasting your time because the solution that you're using isn't even working. So very, very important that we understand how bleach works and in this video, I'm gonna make it super, super simple for you guys. So let's get right into it. Okay, first off, everyone buys bleach at 12.5%. If you're not getting it at 12.5%, you need to be, I know Walmart does it at 10% from, um, from their one gallon jugs, but you guys could pick up bleach bulk in your area just by doing a simple Google search at 12.5%. So that's the number we're gonna use uh, here for our calculations. Now this is batch mixing, guys. And so if you're curious uh, about pressure washing, soft washing, the differences, downstreaming and soft washing, and how all those percentages work, make sure you guys look at the first link in my description. That's gonna be my six figure pressure washing program where I break down everything from equipment, how to get jobs, how to talk to customers, how to scale, uh, how to actually close for all the money, how to get to a six figure run rate in less than a year. How much does it cost? It's cheaper than your gym membership. That's how affordable this program is and it's gonna be super, super awesome. We launched January 8th, so make sure you get that program. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about how do we mix our bleach. So we get bleach at 12.5%, right? So let's say we're cleaning a house and we need a 4% mix. Maybe we're cleaning some limestone or retaining wall, uh, so on and so forth. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our 12.5%, okay? Now, you're gonna need a batch mixing tank, okay? You know, you're gonna have two different tanks in your pressure washing trailer or truck, okay? One is gonna hold all of your bleach. So whenever you're picking up bleach bulk, that person's gonna put all the bleach in a big tank. So whether that's 30 gallons, 60 gallons, you guys can get little drums, 30, 30 or 60 gallon drums off Facebook Marketplace. I'd get two of them because you're not advanced enough to have a blend manifold system. So you're gonna be batch mixing. That's how everyone starts in their soft washing, uh, pressure washing journey, okay? So let's say we're using a 30 gallon tank for all intents and purposes. We have a 30 gallon bleach tank and we have a 30 gallon batch mix tank, okay? So 12.5%, uh, oh, excuse me guys, I'm just gonna erase this right quick. Okay, we're using a 30 gallon tank, 30 gallon tank. This is our 30 gallon tank, okay? We're gonna take 30 gallons and we're gonna divide that by our bleach, the strength of which we get bleach at. Okay, so 30 gallon tank, divide that by 12.5. 30 gallon divided by 12.5. That's gonna give us 2.4. Two point four. We're gonna take two point four, and we are gonna multiply that times the strength of bleach that which we're trying to achieve. In this case, we're looking for a four percent solution, so we're gonna multiply that by four. Two point four times four gives us nine point six. We'll just say nine point five. So in this tank needs to be nine point five gallons of bleach and then the rest H2O. You guys see how I did that? Take whatever batch mix tank you're using, in this case we're using a 30 gallon tank, divide that by the, by the strength of which we're buying bleach at. So this could be 12.5 in most cases, sometimes it's 10. Make sure you know exactly what strength you're buying it at. That's gonna give us a factor of 2.4, okay? 2.4 times four. If you're, if you're only using a 30 gallon tank, then 2.4 is always gonna be your factor. So just, just memorize 2.4, write it down. Then you can just multiply 2.4 by whatever, uh, by whatever uh, strength you're trying to achieve. So we can do 6%. Okay, this is gonna be very, very easy. This, should, this number should be about 15 because we know that 6% is half of 12.5 pretty much. So if I do 2.4 times six, look, it's giving us 14.4. In other words, fill half of this with bleach, half with water, duh, you'll get a 6% solution, okay? Let's go a little bit harder. Let's say, let's say you have a 60 gallon drum. That's your backsmith tank. You guys can get 60 gallon drums off Facebook Marketplace, super easy. All kinds of old supply stores have them. Uh, 60 divided by 
4.8. So 4.8 is our factor there. There's a big period right there. We're going to take 4.8. Let's get a new tank here, okay? Let's say we want a 3% mix. Maybe we're post-treating a driveway, pre-treating a driveway. 3% is a perfect post-treatment. We're looking for a 3% mix. 4.8 times 3, 14.4. Otherwise, 14.5, 14 and a half gallons, okay? 14. 0.5 bleach, the rest H2O, there's our 3% mix, okay? I'm going to put this formula down in the description, that way you guys uh, can, can read it, copy and paste it. Simple, tank size divided by bleach strength, that gives you a number, in this case a factor of 4.4, uh, which is, this is all dependent on how big your bleach tank is, your, your batch mix tank. Take that factor down below, multiply it by what you are trying to achieve. Okay, and what you are trying to achieve, you should know what you're trying to achieve based on what you're cleaning. If you don't know uh, what strength you need for what you're cleaning, okay, get the program. We're going to dive in all into this kind of stuff. Also, simple YouTube searches will help as well. Um, and then, you know, do that multiplication. You're going to get the exact uh, amount of bleach that needs to go in this tank. And from there, you would just have a, a, a siphoning system or a pump to take bleach from your other tank Okay, because like I said, remember, you're going to have two tanks, one full of bleach and the other one's your batch mix tank. You would just take your siphoning system or, or your pump, your external pump, and pump 14 gallons of bleach from this tank into this tank. Pretty easy to do, okay, and then make sure the rest is filled with water. That's how you guys achieve your bleach percentages. Alrighty, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys got any kind of value, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below what you thought. We got some really exciting stuff planned for 2024, okay? So if you're looking to get started in the fresh washing business, now's the perfect time to actually get looking into all this stuff. There's gonna be a whole lot of information you guys need to digest rather quickly in order for you guys to be put in the best position for success this spring and summer. So that's gonna be it for this video. Peace out, we'll see you on the next one.